tinkle on an old piano. I like to play it in a subtle manner. I get a lot of pleasure with the span of keys underneath my fingertips. I like to sing a little tune that's mellow. I like to vocalize as nothing sweller. I love to have a subtle melody just trickling off of my lips. It's very fast. We always comment that once the show starts, it's a, you know, act one is over, you know, basically. And so we get on the train and we and we go for we go for that ride. Um, it's exciting, it's thrilling. You don't have time to really think, you just have to, to be in that moment. You know I always told you. What? You'd be the death of me. Yeah, you told me that. In the early years, like, uh, uh, you know, I mean, I, I did everything myself. I booked the band. I you promoted it. Promoted it, I signed the little you contracts. You made the posters. And, um, and you know, it was like <laughs> looking at those early contracts, it was like, Three hundred dollars, <laughs> piano included. Oh my, god. oh my god! I want them to be good citizens, to take care of the planet, to take care of each other. We've lost that connection in coming to school and work, 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 work. With all the getting ready for tests and stuff, we don't spend as much time as we used to be able to on the social skills stuff and really creating a a culture of we're in this together, we're a community. So my hope is that they will. They'll take good care of the planet, each other. They'll have big dreams. I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome at the age of 14, and I work as a speaker, advocate, and mentor to teens and young adults on the spectrum. I meet young people every day who are full of potential, but I also know firsthand how difficult school can be. This is really an emotional journey for me, an experience unlike I've ever had before in my entire life. When I was first asked to do Artist in Residency, the thought of working with kids absolutely terrified me. I couldn't even fathom it. I thought, how am I going to do this? I'm not a teacher. I don't have the PhD or the Masters. I'm not a specialist in education. I would like to create a folk song. In the same vein, like the song we heard yesterday, this land is your land, this land is my land. It all kind of came together and, and came into a groove and, yeah. and all the elements fell together and it was just a magical time of, of music and groups. It was a golden era of, uh, of rock band. Obviously, our hearts are still heavy because we lost our dear friend and mentor, uh, Paul Revere, last year. He was a great guy to work for. Uh, I, I owe him. A great debt of gratitude, giving me the, one of the biggest breaks I've ever had in music. I remember in um, my group lesson class, uh, the teacher, he would give us weekly practice sheets, you know, to log how many minutes or hours you practiced for the week. And the student that got the most practice hours per week got candy. 